financial advisory is very, very personal. It's, it, it differs for different people based on class, age, stage of... It just it, it, it differs. The knowledge, the basic knowledge of how to use money, mm -hmm. grow money, transfer money is super paramount. So that is the bedrock of what we do. Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of SME Chat. And today we are live with the GMD of Kudimata, Mrs. Kathleen Erimo. Hi, Kathleen. Hello, Dami. Hi, how, how are, are you? you doing? I'm good. I'm fine. How are you doing too? Beautiful. You're looking beautiful and fabulous as ever. Thank you. Your blonde wig is given. Wow. <laughs> All right, Kathleen, so tell us more about Kudimata because I assume that we don't know what Kudimata is. Mm. We don't even know what business Kudimata is. So tell us more about Kudimata. Okay, so Kudimata, mm -hmm. money matters. Absolutely. Kudimata is a financial community, mm. a fincom, yeah. where basic financial education, financial advisory, business support, empowerment, training and development, mentorship mm. happens. It's community-based, it's hybrid too, mm. where we interact with individuals, institutions on money-related issues. Interesting. Anything about money. We say could it matter. It because <laughs> when I Talk. first heard could it matter, I'm like, this is such an intentional name because could it means, I think that's house or something, could, could it means money. So when you say could it matter, it means you are going straight to say it's money we're talking about. Here. On point. Nothing no, else. And then it resonates with everybody. Absolutely. I guess that was, that was why the name was yeah. coined out that way. Because could my next matter. question was going to be, how did you come up with could it matter? Like, what is it that like you just woke up one morning and you're like, you know what? I have this. Because first, I know you must have had the idea of what you want to do with the business before the name even came up. I think that's usually what happens. So is it that you just woke up and you're like, you know what, this business is going to be called Kudi Mata, or what inspired the name? It's actually the idea, yeah. the need, owing to the fact that there is a gap, money gap, knowledge between financial service providers mm. and users. Mm. And it's all about money. So the name had to be money related. It would have been money matters, but money matters sounds so yeah. basic, yeah. not interesting. Doesn't hit it. Could so it matter? Could it matter? Hits it. <laughs> hits it. So could it matter is it? I love it. I love it. So what financial resources does could it matter actually offer to their clients? So first and foremost, fundamental, basic financial education, mm. which everybody needs. So we do that. Apart from basic financial education, we do SME support. Right. So anything SME support as it relates to money, that it goes in all aspects from um, inception to the end of your business. We'll take you through the stages. That's, um, that's there. We help you blue. I think we have a product or something called blue. Right. By the time we are done with your SME training and that. You would have been blown. You blow. Right. And we still work with people. We pre try to prepare them. Mm. Life at work, and you prepare you to life for life after work. Yeah. So we call that, um, it's under like pre-retirement um, training um, package. Then the statesman. Ha. You know, this is a um, time where you have people in a appointments in yeah. employment, not just appointment, government related. So those group of people, mm. they need to be handheld through their journey. So by the time they get out of the position, those fields, they are able to manage themselves mm. and live that same life that they live. So we call that statesman. Yeah. So we do that for them, ah, the pension, the general, the empowerment, we support Basically, youths and women. Mm. Everybody, but my passion. So youths and women, fantastic. We can't, we can't, we can't take it from, uh, from them. So general, but anything about money. So from start, mm. cradle 
It only makes sense that, well, you're the guest, you're a guest rather on our SME chat show. (laughs) That's really fantastic. So um, financial um, education is something that we don't see very often, especially in this part of the world. I'm also very aware that not many people are very financial literate. You know, people just think it's okay to do anything or whatever really to make money. But then money management is not something that many people know. They just think, let me make money. Ah, if this money goes today, another one will come. And really, that's, I don't think that that's how things work. So how do you, what approach do you take in um, financial advisory? What's your approach to financial advisory? So financial advisory is very, very personal. It's, it, it differs for different people based on class, age, stage of... It just it, it, it differs. The knowledge, the basic knowledge of how to use money, Mm -hmm. grow money, transfer money, is super paramount. So that is the bedrock of what we do, basic financial education. And that stems from even you understanding yourself first, because no two person is the same. So therefore, if you need to understand yourself, so we start when we start the basic financial education, we we start it with understanding self. Mm. You need to understand yourself. Mm. And then from self, you go into all the other components of financial education before you actually start to talk about money. Mm. Because, like you say, you touch money today. Mm. You don't understand. It's and you don't even know yourself. <laughs> You say money spirit. <laughs> it will just go. <laughs> true, true. It will really just fly away. So how do you keep yourself updated with the market trend in the financial market? Because there's always one thing or the other. There's always a new something coming up every day. And every time. You have to start to get information, show information, and even from experience. Apart from um, reading, experiential. Yeah. We are in collaboration with quite a number of um, institutions, banks and that. So you actually know. So there's feedback. The Mm. feedback mechanism helps us to know exactly what we do and tailor it appropriately. Mm. That's generally what we do. So has these partnerships helped in these years? You know, because I believe that if you're going to be partnering with anybody, you're probably going to be partnering with financial institutions or people in the same industry as you. So have these partnerships been helpful in the course of the years? So um, it's not only the financial industry. Okay. Bearing in mind that our work is to bridge the financial gap, yeah. the knowledge gap between financial service providers and users. Yeah. So everybody who touches money and everybody who provides money from the fintechs to the banks to the insurance, to so anything money-related, and us, everybody uses money. Be even you working in mm-hmm. bank, you are a. So the gap, the partnership or the collaboration is not only with the financial service services provider. Okay. Stay with companies, institutions. Because what kind? You, okay, so let me use the um, most interesting one okay. that we're working with now. We're working with NYC. Oh, interesting. And NNPC Foundation. Mm. There's this collaboration. So NNPC Foundation is sponsoring the basic financial education of all coppers nationwide. Interesting. We started already over 200,000 youth coppers across the country. It will interest you to note that that is a major gap that, that you've gone to school, you've been fully educated, does not mean that you are financially literate. Absolutely. Yeah, the, literacy level, the literacy level in the country currently is around about 20%. Mm. So we have a long way to go. So cashing it at the youth copper level, it is actually the um, foundational thing. So mm. they are equipped with those information and knowledge to help them make informed decisions as they enter the next phase of their life. That's one of the interesting things. So it's not only financial institution. That's a foundation who is empowering youth. And we have other companies that are, there's a church who is actually empowering the followership. Oh, interesting. Yes. 
the followership, mm. get so we are training them to get them well informed so that they can make informed decisions. The bottom line is um, economic growth and sustainability, not for only yourself. At the end, is the country at large. True. So what's your strategy when um, advising clients? You know, I'm sure that you have a lot of different kinds of clients, trust me. Some that are probably semi-financial literate, some that have absolutely no idea what is going on, and some who are actually very literate and probably just need a little guidance here and there. So what exactly is your strategy when um, advising these clients? So what we have done, because the target market is everybody, anybody yeah. who touches money. Yeah. So we have categorized them into um, various classes. Um, if we use the um, financial pyramid, for example, yeah. the bottom of the pyramid, we use um, the Kudimata um, platform. Um, on the Kudimata platform, you are able to have one-on-one -on -one conversation with professionals on board who can and hold you mm. have a one-on-one -on -one chat based on your need don't forget i said uh, money matters are very personal yes so you are. are able to have a one-on-one -on -one interaction and because it's community based mm. there is pair interaction because there are people grouped in various communities there are closed communities and there are open communities mm. so that they can have interaction and have this their money concerns questions and issues tackled discussed, solved. Um, it's hybrid too. You know, you would say like a mama in the market. Mm. How do you then attend to a mama in the market? Uh, so it's hybrid. We go to the market space too and have interactions. A stand, a couldn't matter, educator. It's available to, for mama to ask the basic question Question's and okay. then they will attend to mama. That is at that level, at that retail level. Either if you are techie savvy, you come on board on the Kudimata platform, you have your personal interaction, mm. your community-based interaction pair-to-pair, -pair, mm. or when we are at location, we do um, those interactions. And then you take it up the notch. Um, those are people who maybe who need advisory um, services. They still have the opportunity to have a one one-on-one -on -one interaction with professionals on board well-qualified, well-trained professionals mm. within the various space. Yeah. Um, and they have their issues resolved. And then when you go up the notch, uh, you have a conversation with me, uh -uh. the guru, <laughs> super guru in Money Matters. And Absolutely. then we'll have those conversations. The team is well-robust, well-equipped to tackle anything money. Children too, we go to schools. Yeah, we go to schools and because we it's try to better if it is we try to catch catch them young, and yeah. let them understand the difference between even it's as simple as the difference between want and need. Mm. I want this. I want. I want. I want. You really need it. Yeah. So it's need, not want. Want is then uh, money. They say for children. Does it grow on tree? Mm -hmm. They have to know. <laughs> Not all the time. Money, money, money. So you catch them young. Yeah. So depending on the um, people or the class of um, individuals we are dealing with, we put them in the various pockets. Mm -hmm. There's something tailored for all. It's tailor made specific for the different classes of people. I think that's really brilliant. At least everybody can partake of the goodness everybody. of Kudi Matter. Everybody. Does Kudi Matter engage in any CSR project? Because I don't know, I think that that's also a way that a lot of businesses can, you know, get people on board because when you are doing in your com in a community where you find yourself, you know, and then you are giving back to the community so if you then tell them to okay please come on board and come and learn something or come and benefit from something of course they will you know willingly and excitedly get on board so does could it matter engage in any csr project or anything within the community at all yes several not just within our community total nigeria uh, uh we've even been mistaken as ngos that is oh, how wow. bad our give out to the community is we go to schools around Lagos plenty we go there and we engage we go to market it's not everything that is um, paid for mm. our first interaction with NYSE 
was a total give back. And that's total Nigeria. Mm. We've trained over how many thousand coppers we've empowered. Mm. We've even done, uh, in terms of equipment even, we've done that to um, the NYC community. So let's even take from the NYC community. Um, recently, we had Jigawa, a school in Jigawa mm. um, that was just inaugurated. Couldn't matter when there and gave all work and no play, like we say. Mm -hmm. Gave sport, uh, sporting equipment in addition to all the educational things we've given. So apart from the training, we still give. You know, we empower. Empowerment in terms of give out yeah. and in terms of knowledge, knowledge. it's given. That's the bed, almost the bedrock of what we do. Mm, interesting. So do you want to share some of your successes with us? How you, how um, Kudi Mata has been able to impact clients and even people around the community, not necessarily clients, some of your successes and even challenges? Because I'm aware that there's no business without a challenge. Oh. <laughs> so please share some of your successes and challenges with us. So our biggest success, I will say the biggest, 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 biggest is still within the NYC community mm. where we have succeeded in training over where we have given, we have given to over 300 people, mm. businesses, equipment to start up. It was really, really, when you see the look in the faces, it's fulfilling. Um, there's a school we went, about a thousand people. We gave books. Hmm. You see joy. Of course. Uh, you see, it, it's, it's, it's... Those books are not cheap now. No, it's... <laughs> Success is not only, it's even not only in the given. Mm. It is even in the testimonials. It's stories that, okay, because of this that you have done, we have been able to um, grow and even impacted others. Mm. It's been, as the stories come, as we hear them. So it's, the it's, fulfillment. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Mm. I can imagine. All right, you're still watching SME Chat. When we come back from this break, we'll continue our very exciting conversation with the GMD of Kudi Matters. In today's dynamic global economy, small and medium enterprises stand as Hansung Hero, playing a pivotal role in driving economic growth, fostering innovation, and creating employment opportunities for millions. Now, according to the World Bank, 600 million jobs will be needed by 2030 to absorb the growing workforce. And believe me when I tell you that the SMEs will be the major employer. My name is Oluwa Daniel Laibitui and I'm on a mission to uncover and reveal the stories of incredible entrepreneurs who are changing the game in the business world. I'll be sitting down with passionate and innovative business leaders as they share their journeys, challenges, futuristic plans, and successes. SME Chats spotlighting inspiring entrepreneurs one episode at a time welcome back and you're still watching sme chat once again today we are sitting with the gmd of kudi mata um so kathleen yeah i hear you say the successes of um of kudi mata right but like i said before there's no business without its challenges so what has been the challenge so first how long have you been in business Kudimata was, the idea of Kudimata was bettered March 2022, barely a year. Wow. Yeah, and um, we started the um, creation of the web, um, web and then the mobile app. Um, the first user on the mobile app was in um, July 15th, hmm. and then full operation started in August. So we're about a year. Interesting. Better, so yeah. what has been the challenge so far in this one year? Um, reaching out to who we want to reach out. You know, um, we started, we thought we would work fully digital. So that has been um, beautiful. Yeah. But for you to capture and for you to reach out to everybody, um, 
you need to go grassroots. True. So you need um, educators that would be in each location, each, let's even say each local government, each marketplace that would help the mama who is not um, techie savvy mm -hmm. to do. That's where we want to go to. Mm. That's where the, um, the really, the number is. That's what we need to do. So that has been a, a challenge okay. that we are working at and then we're almost there. So how have you been able to overcome this particular challenge? So in partnership, um, okay. partnership, we've worked with um, partners and have helped us to reach some of these places, but not as far as we would want, want to, to reach. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, Rome was not built in a day at the no, end no, of the no, day. So no, no, no. But, but within step. this one year, I it mean, would interest you to... Um, We've not, we're not only working with NYSE, we're working with NNPC Foundation, mm. we're working with um, Women Affairs Commission, mm. we're working with Nigerian in Diaspora Commission. Interesting. Within this one year, we're working with several corporate institutions. When we have people where... So um, the successes within this one year uh, have quite... Um, They're mind blowing because it's just been a year uh, and uh, you've, all of this has happened. I mean, I think Kudimata is doing well, if you ask me. I will beat my chest <laughs> and say, Kudos to Kudimata. Absolutely. We are working and to the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kudos team. to Kudimata and team. Shout out to you guys. You guys are doing and a very you. great job. <laughs> Thank you to my team. All right. So what sets um, Kudi Matter aside from every other financial advisory organization? Because I'm sure that just like what you were doing, there are other organizations that are doing the same or mm. even, so I don't know. But what sets Kudi Matter aside? I'd like to know. So um, Kudi Matter is the first, first of its kind oh. in Nigeria. Interesting. I dare say if I want to say Africa, FinCom for financial education, advisory, all of that put mm, together. Mm. So it's a total set. We are different from everybody. Yeah, considering that we just know FinTechs, They're not fin particularly FinCom. Yes, yeah. no. So we are the first. There are businesses that are similar. They do close to some of the things we do, but not exactly like the way Kudimata is doing it. So we are first of the kind. So that's on its own set us apart because of the bouquet of everything that we have within the community setting. Mm. So we are different. This community is first of its kind. Mm. So what are the, can you maybe list out the, um, what's it called now, the elements of, I don't know if it's safe to say the elements of Kudimata, but the services that Kudimata can actually offer to its okay. clients. So Kudimata operates hybrid apart from the company. So I've been talking about everything within the app. So in the app, in Kudimata app, there are communities, closed communities. So institutions come on and we can take as many people as possible, possible. and then they interact. So there's that peer-to-peer -peer interaction. There's the training dedicated for those classes of people. And um, they have opportunity to speak with professionals one-on-one. Mm. -on -one. Mm. There is the marketplace where you have access to educational materials to guide you. And then um, you are able to meet mentors on the platform too. Those are um, digitally. Hybrid, mm. we go to location to um, meet with people and render all these services too. Then Kudimata has is facility within the Kudimata facility, 24 seven light. Mm. It is, um, you are able to learn. It accommodates a large number of people. And when you are done, there's the breakout space mm. where you break out and have, uh, you know, like I say, all work and no play. I actually work with the fish uh, philosophy. You break out and you have those mm. section, ample space for that. And, um, that you think you want to do mm. within a training interactive board or is it the cinema setting mm. the 120 screen laser tv where you can switch so mm. you have 
the younger ones who are happy to come to the Kudimata facility to enjoy. If it's not even just the flipping the chat on the interactive <laughs> board, it is the lounging in the cinema setting mm. to learn. You know, our young ones these days, you have to catch them in the best of all times, an environment to ensure that what you are giving to them is impactful. So Kudimata has a facility within Lekki, packing good, where those things can happen. We go to location and people come to us. Mm. So that's set us. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Does Kudi Mata offer a um, mentorship? Because I, I hear you say you, you know, start with small businesses from the scratch. You even go ahead to give them resources to start, which I'm assuming that this, I mean, one of which should be capital, right? So do they offer, do they also offer mentorship so that you're not just giving somebody money or whatever they need to start off a business, but there's nobody to check them and be, I mean, for we, them to be accountable to and stuff. We actually pride ourselves to and holding you through your journey okay. from the start. And we have partners, institutions who are partnering with us even to support hmm. the empowerment. And then when we're done, there's clear monitoring to see. And then we assign you to mo mentors. Hmm. There are quite a number of mentors on the platform. And so they see you tied to um, skills specific. And so they can hold you through your journey, through your journey to see that no matter the stage where you are, mm. to see that you are okay. So I would say we have expert. Like, like there's this saying I, I like to say we have professionals expert on Kudi Mata plant for that very sure that would, people very have, uh, uh, very <laughs> that would handhold you through your professional journey or through your business journey to ensure that you have an enjoyable result and ending. Fantastic. So how do you manage and uh, mitigate financial risk? Because, I mean, there's going to be a lot of financial risk involved because truth is that you can give somebody money now and the person can get money to do something else. <laughs> you see me like and, this. Not, and not the actual thing that they're supposed to use the money for. So how do you manage and mitigate this financial risk? So, you know, um, first and foremost, we don't touch money. So we don't give money. By the time we finish training you and prepare you to receive um, funds, capitals to start, we point you in the right direction. Hmm. And then you go through the profiling of that particular institution hmm. and then they extend you those uh, financial um, support, either in forms of grant, loan, um, angel fund, depending on where they find to place you and then monitoring yeah we monitor digitally and physically to see that you use um, those funds for what it is that you were um, profiled to use them for there's risk in everything yes but, absolutely. but but it is as best as possible mitigated all right. So do you give advices on investments? Does does Kudi Mata also have that embedded in them? Or it's apart from, I'm just trying to find out the extra, maybe add-ons and um, additional things that Kudi Mata can take up. So do they, um, does Kudi Mata um, take up the advisory role of um, advising on, um, on, yeah, not, not business, but on investments, you know, on even real it's estate money matters. and stuff? It's money so, matters. That <laughs> Majorly three buckets of money. Uh, okay. Of money. Okay. There's the money, there's the real estate, and there's the equity. Yes. Of course, we have partners in all these three areas. So we, we advise you. Brilliant. And we point you to the best person to help you invest your money based on your risk appetite. We point you to the real estate firm, developer, within the properties for that uh, um, aspect of your money bucket or mm. your wealth bucket. If, if it's equity, we point you to discretion or what we have partners institutions mm. that would work credible, mm. very credible partner institution that we work with that we point you to. We don't leave you. After the education, we hand you over to the best person who would. And then it's left for you. His advice is left for you to uh, work with the 
institution. Okay, so, so I that, take it. I take it as I need to first enroll with Kodi Mata, you know, to get the whole financial education. Then we now move on to mentorship and, um, you know, advising me on the right financial decision to make. But I'm saying now that given that I probably am already a financial um, literate person, yeah, and I just need to make a financial decision and I am in search for a maybe an organization or a person, in fact, that is going to give me a very solid financial decision. So is Kudi Mata still the place or I need to first enroll? Kudi Mata is the place. So whether or not I enroll, Kudi I can Mata come into Kudi Mata you know, to get the, financial decision. Yes. All your money questions, concerns and issues. Kudi Mata is like, um, oh, well, will I say we have a central repository oh. where all of all those things happen. So anything money. Mm. If it's the advice, is the where to place it, how to get it, or you have even a problem with a loan. Mm -hmm. You have a problem, you need somebody to talk to you about it, or you need somebody to help you restructure that loan, or if it's tax issue or insurance mm -hmm. issue, or your pension issues, anything as it relates to money, money matter. There's <laughs> a professional on ground. Interesting. On ground to unhold you to see that that concern, issue, question is resolved. Interesting, interesting. All right. So um I don't know if it's safe to say, are there any other services that Kudi Mata may maybe likely offer that are not enlisted? Or should I say, could you walk me through how the app works? Because I hear you say you have an app. So at what point do I Take me, okay, walk me through a customer journey. Yeah, I think I will put it that way. So let's take it as I am a, cost, a potential customer, right? And maybe I'm trying to make a decision, a financial decision, or I want to be more financially literate. And someone just says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know one um, company, could it matter? So what's, how exactly do I get on the app? What am I supposed to do on the app? How then am I going to be linked up to someone who is going to speak to me or put me in a group to help me, you know? So just, can you walk me through, through that entire customer, customer journey? journey? Okay, so um, there'll be different classes of customers. Okay. So let me, I will do the individual and institutions. So we have institutions as clients and individual. So an individual simply goes on the um, Play Store or on the App Store and download the Kudimata app. It's Kudimata app. Okay. K-U-D-I-M-A-T-A. Right. And you download the app. You register. You can register as a user or as a consultant. Oh, yeah, because um, yeah, you can register as a user, as a consultant, or as an agent mm. on, Kudi, on the Kudi Matter platform. And so let me pick as a user, you register, and then you arrive, you'll be on the platform, and then you are presented with um, community or um, discuss with experts, professionals. Mm -hmm. Um, you take the financial literacy quiz, the marketplace, and um, so on. So as a user, um, you are, uh, it's, everything is digital. So you are able to book an appointment on the platform directly with a professional, depending on the sector. And the professional picks it, and then you have your conversation. Hmm with the professional as the money issues as you want. Should you require to invest, that um, professional will point you to, to, the right direction. to the right direction to the institution. Mm. Or you want to speak with the admin on the platform, the admin for your questions, your needs, advisory, they will point you to the right direction. That's fully digital on the platform. If you're an institution, Institutions come, so they have um, thousands of um, staff. Mm. They can come on the platform. We can onboard their staff two ways. The staff, they onboard themselves, or the staff, they are uploaded. The institution upload their staff. So they are in a close community mm. where they can receive training. Um, they have pair interact one-on-one -on -one interaction. The platform can take, uh, you know, Communities in most of these um, app then take about um, 300 people, 
500. The Kudimata community can take up to, I think, the largest community on the platform now. We have over 23,000, mm. um, over 23, about 24,000 people in one community, mm. and they are interacting. So you are able to learn from, from each uh, other. Yeah, from each other. The geographical location, everything, you are able to interact, and then you are trained. Mm. And so it's another large community. And then they have one-on-one -on -one interaction. So they have tailor-made um, product for them within the community. That's for the institution. And then they have access to the larger community where they can assess um, training and um, products, everything on the Kudimata platform. If you came in as a consultant on the Kudimata platform, uh, you are able to pick, just like the, I used to say I liken the Kudimata platform to the Uber of mm -hmm. the financial industry, where you come on the platform, just like a user, you book a service, and then you have a driver, you have an expert who picks the service within that space and attends to you. Within the shortest possible time, mm. that's what Kudimata does. Right. So it's so. What if you register as an agent? I think you mentioned three categories. And as an as, as an, an agent, agent, you bring in traffic right. to the to the platform. So that's also and a then way you to end, create so you end, employment. Yes, create employment uh, as an agent and even as a consultant. Hmm. Because even as a consultant on the platform, you know, it's a large community. You are able to even schedule free training. Hmm. Um, our facility. The Zoom platform, uh, Zoom, and um, you have unlimited number of people you can interact with. The 1,000 one-on-one that you can do, and then uh, it's open. As mm. a consultant, you have access to that, and access to the physical um, training location in Lagos. Like, Interesting. Mm. So as a co for, let's take, for instance, I'm a financial consultant. Can I also, you know, you likened it to um, the, um, what's it called now, E-Alien um, trans e Transportation Services. Now, I am also aware that on some of these um, apps, you can register as a driver, as instead of registering as a passenger, mm -hmm. you know. So if you register as a driver, it means that you can pick up orders or rather pick up passengers and whatnot. So if I am a financial consultant, can I register on the Kudimata app as a financial consultant who wants to also um, maybe give advisory services to other people? Yes, that's why I consultant there. So, we so even if I wasn't you. trained with you? No. Okay. So, so we would, when you register, you are profiled. Okay. You are just like uh, the driver in the e healing um, services. You are profiled, and then you meet the standard, and then you are onboarded. So you are able to render those services within... Um, your field. As long as you have the right qualifications. The right and the requisite experience and skills to render that advisory service. So how do you measure these people? How do you, on what, on what ground do you say, okay, this person is a perfect fit? Because, I mean, certificates can be certificates. Yeah, but so, then... So, apart from certificate, the experience. So, apart from your certificate, on the registration process for the consultant, you go through with all your certificates and we'll check you. You know, social media these days is actually... So, we would check your LinkedIn page, your experience, your... All of all those are put in perspective. Mm. And then the back-end team would profile and see that. And then we have a one-on-one -on -one interaction okay. with you to see that you meet our standard. There is a clear standard set. So that somebody will not go and give another person a very terrible oh, no, financial no, 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 no. You won't even, <laughs> you won't even, you won't even qualify to come on board. It's going to be so chaotic and disastrous. Oh, no, no, I no. You won't imagine. even qualify to come on board to be a consultant. I can imagine. No, I can it's imagine. the standard is high. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, the standard is Thank high. Thank you so much, Kathleen. You've been a very fantastic guest on our mm. show. But before we wrap it up, so, um, like we said in the beginning, in Nigeria, in this part of the world, let me just keep it at that, <laughs> there are not so many people that are financially literate. You know, people are, I, I think people are really bad with money. You know, because I hear a lot to say, ah, spend this money, Jare, another one will come. In case, uh, I mean, life is just simple. <laughs> you I can know, die today. I mean, you only live once. And this is another thing that people will say, your next of king can eat your money. So 
<laughs> you better what? spend it now. I mean, I know those things are just banter, those they're just jokes, but at the same time, they're not exactly banters and they're jokes. Not. They are like literally our reality in this part of the world. So what would you like to say to Nigerians that are listening to you right now about financial literacy? How you can how you can how they should actually be financially literate and if you think they should actually come to Kudimata to get the education. <laughs> I would say everybody, just come to Kudimata. Right. Just come first. Come everybody. to Kudimata. That's where you get the right, and right you education. Be educated. Right. Money is very important. Mm -hmm. The knowledge and skills on how to use, manage, grow, preserve, transfer money, depending based on your age, your class. And all of that, because it's you know it's different. It is important. So I would employ all everybody um, now in our youth, most especially and women. It is most important. We are we acquire this skill. It's as simple. So we have on the Kudi Matter platform. There's a simple quiz. Mm. Come on board and take the quiz. Mm. You even get a certificate. Mm. Come on board and take the quiz. You will see that what you think you know. You think you have gone to school I, I'm all that. You will find out that as basic as what do you even need money for? What should money be used for? Mm. You won't, you just even, you don't even know. Mm. So those little things, as simple as they are, they are important and they will guide us. They would help us to ensure that we live enjoyable, enjoyable mm. life and we enjoy our money. Mm. So that is... Um, Come on, could it matter? Say, just come. So that you'll be able to teach us how to make our money work for us while we're sleeping. That's one. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> right. Not right. only just work for you when you're sleeping, work for you when you're sleeping. And you're able to transfer it even to the next generation. Mm. Or do very anything. Important. It's very important. Very important. Or grow. All right. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Like I said earlier, you've been a very fantastic guest on our show. Thank you so much for watching. This is yet another exciting episode of SME Chat. And today we sat live in the office of the GMD of Kudimata. Till we see you again next time. Bye. Hi there. My name is Kathleen, the founder of Kudimata, a financial community. I believe you're having an interesting time in discovering the practical steps in your journey to financial recovery. A famous man once said, financial peace is not the acquisition of houses, cars, jewelries, or other valuables. It is in the learning to live on less than you earn so that you can give back and have enough for your future. You cannot have financial recovery until you build financial knowledge. On the matter community, you can build financial knowledge. There are licensed and seasoned professional advisors available to provide advisory and business support services. They will provide answers to all your money and business questions, concerns, and problems. It could be a one-on-one -on -one interaction with a professional or peer-to-peer -peer interaction. As we say, could it matter? Money matters. If they pay you, talk. Don't wait anymore. Get started now by downloading the Could it Matter mobile app or calling the number on the screen.